Yeah, so I think for me, I worked, uh, so when I was in college, I was very involved with student ministry here in the U.S. So for me, that is all that mattered. God, I just want a job that pays me $40,000. I think I'll be very happy. And I was praying for a job. For me, it was all about, I just want a job, right? And the end of the day, but at church and serving in ministry, for me, that was priority. That was like, hey, I enjoy it. That's all I want to focus on. But then when I got a job, as soon as I worked a few months, it was all about, hey, I want to move up. I want more money. Then it became more money. Oh, I want to get another degree. Fine, I want to get another degree because I got bored with what I did. But then I also it's about more position. It's about more money. And then it's about six years fast forward. For me, it became, wow, I'm putting in these 60-hour days. I'm killing myself. I haven't seen my best friends. Probably see them every other week. I relocated for 18 months to a another separate state, which is like five hours by flight, you know, I've, the other end of the country. So I don't even see my friends anymore. And I went a year without seeing my friends, uh, hanging out with them. I had to make new friends, which really wasn't that strong as my friends here in Columbus, who I knew for like 10 years. Um, so I think I started seeing myself becoming more of, I think workaholics, probably a borderline workaholic, but it's more about life's just about work. And if I have to draw a pie chart, about my life, it would be like work, 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 and yes, a bit of everything else, or a sprinkle of everything else. And when I realized that, and when I heard, um, actually, it's one, of the, it's one of the sermons that I heard from Rick Warren, you know, the author of Purpose Driven Life, where he talked about work, and what does it really mean to be spiritually mature? One of the things, the first thing that's most important to test your spiritual maturity is can you confidently stay, say, that Christ is number one in your life. God is number one in your life. And what does that even mean, right? Can you say that? What that means is, again, draw the pie chart and see like, where are your priorities and where are you spending most of your time or what's taking up, the what's stressing you the most? Is it like, are you more worried about growing or working for God's kingdom? Or are you more worried about like, oh man, I gotta be on this call or that call? You know, what takes up most of your time? So I think for me, my journey has been, since the day I realized that, I've been more actively trying to say, you know what, career is very important. I'm going to give it my 100%, just I always have, but it's within this window. It's within this time. But after, outside of that, for me, my priority is not that. And even if I lose my job and I don't have that, that's fine, because for me, that's not what God created me for. Yes, He created me to be, do good at work, to excel, but that's not my calling. My calling is just something else for His kingdom, and I have to actively search for that and listen. But as I go through that process, uh, my focus has, cannot be 100%, my entire 24-7 cannot be work. And it has to be involved with church, with the Bible study, with the small group, and reading God's word one-on-one, -on -one, just praying to God every day, reading the word, you know, tithing is another thing, right? It's not just about giving when somebody has a need. It's also about actively giving to a church. So calling a church, your, you know, your, the body of Christ, just belonging to that and then sharing with them, helping your, you know, your small groups and getting connected. Those kind of elements, which become more like things that you sprinkle the rest of your week, need to become some things that are really important. And I cannot, and I'm, and John, you know me more than anything. I mean, this is, this is real. For me, when I did this this year, or since late last year, life has just taken an old, all different meaning. Am I doing well at work? Oh, absolutely. I'm doing the same at work than I did before when I was killing myself like a dog. It hasn't changed. My performance hasn't changed. My, you know, reviews haven't changed. But my relationships with my friends, with the church, with my small group, has grown just tremendously. And not just that, I mean, just God's blessed me in so many different areas that I just never had last year. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, and I think there are still times when I think, I, there are a lot more times I need to grow, but I think this is that step by step, right? And that's like my pastor says at church is, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. So you just take it step at a time. And I would say this was one of the first steps, is understanding what it means to answer the question, what is number one in your life? 